Outdoors Delmarva is sponsored by Shorts Marine, Shooter's Choice, and Goody's Marine. Mike, people have really been getting involved with our new viewer venture cam, and we have another new video to show you this week. Yeah, Willie, when a friend of the show told us he was going to head out to Smith Island for a couple of days of fishing, well, we asked him to catch us some video, too. Oh, the sun came out. Whoa. Buddy and Jane Jenkins from Bishopville, along with Rebecca Hale from West Ocean City, set out on Buddy's boat, the I Fish, and headed from Crisfield to Smith Island. There have been some big red drums spotted in these waters in recent weeks, and they're hoping to hook up a big one. But some stormy weather cut down on their fishing time, Willie, so still these three were able to get out on the water and locate some rockfish and a few other species. It's a shame we have to throw them back. It is. This is fish in Del Mar. Okay, oh, now go ahead and release him back. Okay. There is nothing wrong with that. We want to say thanks for sharing the video, buddy. For our pictures this week, we start with a nice rockfish caught recently off Tillman Island. Kelly Nelson sent in this shot of her fiance, Matt Mills, with this 43-incher. As we like to say, Mike, that'll feed the family. <laughs> sure will. Ron Bowman from Lincoln, Delaware, sent in a few shots for us this week. This deer was spotted out back of Ron's sunroom, feeding by the woodpile. And while out and about a few weeks ago, he came across these turkeys gathered in a field near Bridgeville. And Micah Purdy from Crisfield sent in a picture of this great blue heron that he says visits his backyard canal just about every day. He's become such a regular visitor, he's even got a name, Charlie. Well, we love sharing your outdoors videos and photos here on the show, so please keep them coming. Just email me at mparker at wboc.com or post them on the Outdoors Delmarva Facebook page. Well, Will, you know what? It wasn't easy this week. It rained so much across Delmarva, and as you know, flintlock muzzleloaders do not like it wet. <laughs> what about Chopper 16? Well, the visibility got pretty terrible at times, but at least I got the little bird a bath. She's looking good. <laughs> All right, Willie. Until next week, for Captain Willie Dykes, I'm Mike Parker reminding you to get outdoors, Delmarva. Mother Nature doing your uh, work again for you, Willie, washing the chopper. I was totally out of elbow grease, so uh, the flying in the rain was just uh, the perfect thing. Looks good. Oh, you missed a spot, right? Here. That's a brand new pug. I didn't do that.